Hello and welcome back. Continuing from where we left last time, this session will be basically concentrating on removing the spill from all the edges. Now what exactly spill is, if we need to understand that, let's do one thing, let me just turn this green screen footage on and let me make it solo. So a spill has nothing more than a color which is blended or basically which is passed from the green screen to the edges of your footage or the area, the main area of your footage. And this is something that we're going to compress today using the spill suppression technique. The lecture may not be too long today, but it's a very important part inside the chroma keying process because if you do not remove the green spill from the edges, this is what we're going to get. This output is what we'll get. So it would look really bad, really terrible. And that's something that we need to avoid this halo of green which is spilling all around over here. So let's see how we can do this. Removing the spill, the D spill, not the chroma, sorry, the D spill. It's very simple in After Effects. Just see to it you're there in the right footage or the right layer. That's this girl's layer over here. And go to Effects and Presets and search for something called as Spill. And over here, After Effects is going to give you two options, Advanced Spill Suppressor all spill suppressor you can use either of them but as the name is suggesting it's called as an advanced spill suppressor let's use this i'll just click and drag, the, drag this thing on the girl layer and right over here as soon as i leave the click you'll see the magic has happened and you'll see the green from the edges has gone that is it over here inside your advanced spill suppressor you have two options you have the option of something called as standard and there is something called as ultra but first let's see what there in standard inside your standard you have this op option over here called as the suppression option which says right now the value is at 100 percent so definitely you know what this is if you make it zero the suppression or the spill is going to come back if you make it 100 it will be 100 percent suppressed if you make it 50 it will be like 50 50 it's like an opacity option nothing more than that but for us, the output that we require, we are going to keep it to 100. Next is the option of Ultra. Ultra has some more features. Like if you see, you can choose the color that you want. You can increase and decrease the tolerance, desaturation, spill range. So if you just come over here to this girl's uh, edge where we have the spill. And if I just reduce the tolerance, make it zero. Okay, nothing much has happened over here because the spill was not that too much. So let's keep it and let's change it to 50 once again. In this footage, you may not see much of a difference because there is not much of spill uh, which has happened over here. So you can also saturate, desaturate the footage. Okay, basically the spill is what you're desaturating. Just see to it that when you're doing this, you play with the tolerance also. Otherwise, it's gonna, gonna affect the entire image that we have over here. So let's keep it 50-50. Let's not mess this up right now. Let's keep it 50-50. And I think overall it's giving me a good output. The only change that I can see over here is now the spill has gone. But there is this white halo which has appeared over here. And that's now what we need to work on. Now how do you work and you basically suppress this white halo? There is a different technique altogether for this. And for this, we'll be first creating a mat which will just affect the edge. So we have this chroma over here. Let's duplicate this once. Let's duplicate this twice and let's turn them on. So basically this is nothing more than the chroma key that we had. And now in this bottom layer, I'll just say alpha inverted mat. So once you do this, what remains over here is just the edge mat. And this is now what we are going to use for treating the edges creating the uh, brightness of the edges and all that so once this thing is done let's see this technique once again let me just delete this you'll take the layer which is the chroma key layer that is this okay duplicate it once twice the bottom layer just say alpha inverted mat and that's it what you're gonna get now over here is a edge mat and this is what we require now so let's take it further now and what we'll be doing now is uh, we'll be selecting both of them together, both the layers together 
we'll be pre-comping it. We'll say move all attributes to new layer and we'll uh, name it as edge mat comp new. I'll call it new because I already have a comp ready over there. So once I've done this, I'll say OK. So this is basically got pre-comped now. And now I'll introduce a new layer. That's the adjustment layer. And inside my adjustment layer, I'll just take it and put it down. And on this adjustment layer, I'll put a new effect called as the curves effect. And now when I take the curves effect and I put it over here, you know what's going to happen if you have used Photoshop or even if you have uh, worked on After Effects earlier, whatever layers are below the adjustment layer will all get affected. So if I try to darken this thing right now, can you see that? The entire image is darkening, but I don't want this. I want only the edge to darken. And that's the reason why we created this edge mat over here. Now, inside the adjustment layer, we'll just choose alpha mat, the edge mat. So what's happening now is this adjustment option, whatever we do, will affect everything at the bottom, but only at the edges because we have restricted it with an alpha channel over here. So now if I just take this thing down, you'll see the edges, the halo is going off. We can just turn this off and see. Can you see that? But for getting a more precise and proper control, this is what I'm going to do. I'll just reset this thing right now. Inside the adjustment layer, I'll just take a roto and I'll just make a roto over here so that only the edges from the hair side is selected. And now I'll say control shift H so that the shape gets hidden. And now I can make the adjustment. Now the adjustment will happen, but it will happen only on the hair portion. So just take this thing down. Can you see that? So you can do this and get this thing, uh, get it into a right output. Same way, I want to do it for this area now. I can just select the adjustment layer and the edge mat. Duplicate this. Now in this layer, I'll go to mask. I'll delete this mask. And I'll reintroduce a new mask which is going to affect only this portion of the hair. And I'll also go to this adjustment and reset the curves. And let me just select this much of portion. Additionally, you can also do feathering for your roto. So right now, let me just play with this. Can you see that? And what we're getting over here is good compression of the halo. You can get that. You can play with the curve as weird as you want, but I'll keep it simple. And you'll see the effect, the change which has happened over here. It may not be much because anyways, in the coming session, we'll be working with the light wrap and all that option. So just keep it, make it as bare minimum as possible. Same way, now I can take, there is still some halo which I can see at the top of the hair over here, which is quite prominent. I'll once more select these two things together. That is the adjustment and the edge mat. I'll duplicate this. I'll go to this one, adjustment, go to mask, delete the old mask, make a new mask altogether. And it will be best, I think, if we can use some feathering. And can you see the effect? So this is how we are solving this issue of the halo at the side. And if you see the effect now, if I just turn off the adjustment layers, one, two, and three, you can see the halo is so prominent. And now if I turn this thing on, let's say turn the first one, and you'll see the effect happening over here. Then you turn the next one, you'll see the effect happening over here. And then the next one, and you'll see the effect happening over here. So we have got it to a very good situation or very good output right now. If you want, additionally, you can also remove the halo at the edges over here. But as they're not visible, I'm just going to keep it the way it is right now. So what we have seen in this session is we have seen how to remove the spill. And we have learned a new technique in which we created the edge mat and we use the curves for reducing the halo at the edges. Next time when we see integration, that is the integration part in which we'll see the color correction and then later we're going to see light wrapping. All this additional halo that you see, they will all disappear due to the light wrap and due to the color correction. But for today, this is what we have done. A very short session on how to remove the D-spill 
and how to get rid of the halo around your object. Hope you guys liked it. Do let me know. Do comment on it. And till the time we meet next time, thank you.